Remember this moment from Avengers Infinity War? Or this moment that from that 2015 happen. Fantastic Four movie? Nope. Well, you didn't blink during those scenes because they never actually made it into the final cut of the film. And those weren't the only I clips. knew I wasn't this tripping. This is every moment from every Marvel trailer that never made it into the final edit. I knew I wasn't tripping about some of this. Of the movie. Okay, hold on. What's up, Doc? I'm pretty sure how the Duck and Blade used all their footage in the movie. From the first X-Men movie, this particular banner saying, Good, Good mutant, mutant, Dead mutant, mutant, was omitted from the film. They probably had plenty of hate banners. I think Blade II used all its trailer footage. Not the very I, first I, teaser bro. trailer for Spider-Man featured the title character trapping a helicopter of burglars with webbing in between two buildings. Those buildings, the Twin Towers. <laughs> Weeks after the release of the teaser, the real-world September 11 events occurred, leading to Sony pulling the trailer from theaters. Though, it's unclear if this scene was actually going to be in movie at all or if it was i didn't even know this existed i'm not gonna lie to you i didn't know this existed it was just to get people hyped about the movie and this is my favorite spider-man series other than obviously the the miles ones the uh spider-verse ones the toby Maguire one is my favorite there are however some rumors that this was how the movie was initially going to end I'm pretty sure the 2003 Daredevil movie used all its footage. If not, the clips I missed probably ended up in the director's cut. This dialogue between Charles and Eric while they're playing chess is completely different in the movie. Doesn't it ever wake you in the middle of the night? The feeling that someday they will pass that foolish law and come for you. The entire teaser trailer for the 2003 Hulk movie was just for the trailer. I don't even think oh, this wow. house is in the movie. I'm pretty sure the 2004 Punisher movie used all their trailer footage. Harry slamming his fist onto a desk with clippings of Spider-Man doesn't appear in Spider-Man 2. It nor does, does the splash happen. of the Spider-Man mask over Peter's face. A common thing trailers would do is provide a that PG version either. of yeah. lines of dialogue, and there's probably none more notable than this moment in the Blade Trinity trailer. Blade, ready to die. This is the day I was born. I was born ready, mother. I don't think there was anything missing in Electra from <laughs> Trailer Electra! Movie. The 2005 Fantastic Four movie changed this billboard from Phantom of the Opera in the trailer to U-verse. Maybe Phantom mm. of the Opera had closed at that point? This line from Johnny was removed from the final cut. You know that look cool. Johnny being closed into the machine was nowhere to be seen in the film. Bolivar mm. Trask never says this line in X-Men The Last Stand. On principle, I can't negotiate with these people. Well, then you know what needs to be done. We never see this shot of Jimmy being slid across the table. I'm not Hold as familiar on. with the Ghost Rider films as I am with most- Damn, this happens a lot, don't it? ...other Marvel movies, but I think they used all the footage in each movie. In the Spider-Man 3 trailer, mm. it shows Spider-Man with the Venom symbiote- That definitely does not happen. Streets, ...but we never actually see him wear the suit during the day in the I movie. I was just about to say, you, he's never in the daytime with the suit in on. In the final cut, this window reflection is of the black symbiote, not his red and blue suit. This was actually a shot they used in most trailers. I feel like it was oh, more a stylistic shit. choice exclusively for the trailers, that been knowing a cool it wouldn't choice. be used in the movie. In the Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer trailer, Ben and Johnny say, That's bad. That's really bad. I wonder what was so bad. This person's car survived being crushed in the movie, or it was still crushed just off screen. The line, mm. What are you building, Stark? From the first Iron Man trailer ceased to exist in the movie. Same with this line. Let's see if this dog can hunt. And no inclusion of this pool party scene. The Incredible Hulk trailer opens with Bruce talking with psychologist Leonard Sampson, an interaction that never occurs. There's a shot in one of the trailers <sighs> where Norton's Bruce is- Hulk, man. Oh my gosh. Fucking goodness climbing up a snow mountain. This is actually from the alternate opening where Banner wanted to end his life, but the Hulk crushed the gun. There was some kind of interaction between who I assume is General Ross and another army officer, which was removed. Are you telling me another one of your bioforce experiments has gone here, Wyatt? I don't recall any deception in the Punisher Warzone trailer. Oh. The new Mar- the, the MCU Hulk. Um... Did a callback to that moment. But he said it differently. Because they probably, they never showed it. So I guess he just talked about it. He said, I try to end it. And then the big guy spit the bullet out or something like that. Oh, that's nuts. In the X-Men Origins, ooh, shiny trailer, Logan is holding a deceased Kayla on a sandy dune. But in the movie, he she just leaves right her there, there yeah. and runs off. This was one of the most notable moments from the Iron Man 2 trailer, the where the very Marvel named Pepper Potts kisses Tony's Iron Man helmet, but in the movie, there seems to be no sign of Pepper on the cargo plane at all. In the first Thor trailer, the title character okay. says, Oh no, this is Earth, isn't it? Which is not said in the movie. Oh, this shot of what looks like Eric Selvig working it's with so S.H.I.E.L.D. It's so weird to see so many things that, like, from from the older trailers, because I, I, don't, I don't remember watching some of these trailers, I just remember watching the movies. 
is also not seen, nor is this shot where Loki seems to take or be presented with Odin's scepter. It's not uncommon for moments from the first trailer to have footage removed from the movie, as was the case for X-Men First Class, where Havoc was using his powers outside the mansion. This line from the second Captain America, the first Avenger trailer was cut. You're gonna get so many girls. There seemed to be no deception in the Avengers trailers. This shot in The Amazing Spider-Man where Peter is writing science on a chalkboard was nowhere to be seen in the film, probably because they realized this movie was set in 2012 and no one used chalkboards anymore. This line by the very Marvel named Kurt Connors was omitted. Mm. If you want the truth, Peter, come and get it. Same with this line. Ready to play God. And this line. Do you think what happened to you, Peter, was an accident? They were really setting this movie up to be the untold story, but it was really just a slight <laughs> I was just about to say, bro has mad lines that they cut out. Do they hate this dude? A different story to the version we got 10 years earlier. In Iron Man 3, we never got this scene from the president saying, You elected me on a single platform. I will defend this country at all costs. Same with this line from Trevor. Uh -huh. Today is the first day of what's left of your life. This shot of what looks like some people praying is not in the Wolverine. This moment of Jane being wowed is not in Thor The Dark World. Same with this shot of Thor showing her around Asgard. I guess the tour went on for too long. There seemed to be no deception in Captain America The Winter Soldier trailers. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, on the other hand, had plenty of unused footage. One of the trailers opened with this line. You know what it is I love about being Spider-Man? Everything. Not in oh, the that did not happen. You're right. Oh, also the end fight with Rhino pisses me off because in the trailer they make it seem like that's one of the main villains and he he does that at the literal end of the movie. Moby, why was this interaction between Peter and Harry omitted? Isn't that the question of the day? And this interaction where they say each other's names. Peter Parker, Harry Osborn. And this line about the career Peter is in. What have you been up to? I do some web design. Web and design is line. crazy. We have plans for you, Peter Parker. I can't believe they cut those moments. Those were the only things in the trailer that made me want to see the movie. When I saw the motion picture, I felt as foolish as Spongebob when he ripped his pants. From X-Men Days of Future Past, the first trailer hinted at us getting more Rogue, but other than her appearance movie. at the end, the rest of the scenes were edited out before eventually getting released in a Rogue cut of the film. Oh, wait, These lineup shots from Guardians of the Galaxy was used heavily in the, the marketing, name. but it was quite different in the film. Drax's wasn't in the movie, Groot had his full limbs in the trailer, and the five of them were never together at this point in the movie. They also cut a shot where we see the back of mm. a topless Gamora. I wonder how many extra hours it took to cover her whole torso in green paint. Shut up, Gamora. Ultron melting his arm wasn't in Avengers Age of Ultron. The location of Wanda's breakdown after her brother's death is in a different location from trailer to movie. A mysterious person undresses by a pool. Who is this person? Why are they swimming? This line is not in <laughs> Ant-Man. Is it too late to change the name? But I can answer that for him. Yes, it's too late. They already made the movie. They cut out this money shot of money. There might have been some bank heist removed. The 2015 Fantastic Four movie removed Ben's baseball game. Now we'll never know who won. We never saw Johnny fixing his mm. car inside his house. Now we'll never know how he got it out of there. This plane was nowhere to be seen. Now we'll never know who was inside. This particular shot of Ben breaking out of rocks is the thing. Gone. Sue comforting yeah, her brother. That. Eliminated. Mm -hmm. Lightning strike behind Reed as he punches. Forget about it. This <laughs> conversation between Reed and Victor never happened. Yeah. Be ready for what's coming. What is coming? The answers. Standing pose, yeah, staring at blue sky happen. beam, caps off the first trailer of omitted material. Yes, that was all just from one 90 second trailer. From the other trailers, they got rid of another baseball scene. They must really hate that sport. The alternate dimension goo changed color from orange to green. Flying through big mm. rock was not seen in the movie. Ben never pinned Doom down to punch him. Johnny never says, I'm gonna need a heat resistant workshop. This marquee shot used in most of the marketing of Ben dropping out of the plane, nowhere to be seen. Mm -hmm. They even continue to use this clip in TV spots. You after know, I watched the movie this movie for released. the first time like There's gotta be a nine hour a cut of this movie ago. somewhere. So because it's still fresh. A, comedy, didn't a lot see of that alternate part. lines of dialogue were changed from the trailer to movie. For example, uh, We'll see about that pop space. Captain America's Pop Civil Spice. War tried to hide yeah, Spider-Man from its trailers. <laughs> X-Men Apocalypse had no deception. Doctor Strange never walked backwards into the mirror dimension. Logan used all its footage. Drax never gave Peter a hug in Guardians of the Galaxy Volleyball 2. This Hulk <laughs> joke by Spider-Man in Homecoming was removed. You guys aren't the real Avengers. I no. can tell Hulk gives it away. We never saw... Oh, I can tell Hulk gives it away is was taken out, but this... Homecoming was removed. You guys aren't the real Avengers. I
Something. I can tell Hulk gives it away. We never saw a vulture fly down whatever okay. building this is. Peter and Liz's kiss doesn't count because it was only in the trailer. This shot of a concerned Aunt May was exclusive to the trailer. Looks like she's at work or picking Peter up from school. I'd be shocked if this Iron Man and Spider-Man team up shot was ever actually going to be in the movie. But it was used heavily in the marketing to let everyone know that Iron Man would be in a Spider-Man movie. Isn't mm -hmm. it weird that we got to a point where the draw for a Spider-Man movie was Iron Man? Hela's hammer catch and Thor Ragnarok happened in a field as opposed to a back alley in the trailer. We never mm -hmm. got to see Loki spin his knives, and they hid the spoiler that Thor loses one of his eyes in a scene prior to this moment. This four mm -hmm. hero team up shot also never happens. No deception in the Black Panther trailers. Exactly, about... because Black Panther is exactly how it was supposed to be. Avengers Infinity War never showed Bruce Banner working on the Hulkbuster armor. Everyone remembers this shot from the trailer. No didn't one happen. remembers it from the film because it wasn't there. The reason why we know it was happen. only designed for the trailer is because Hulk is in this shot. What were Natasha, Rhodey, and Bruce looking at in the sky? I guess we'll never know. The trailer shows Thanos having less Infinity Gems on the gauntlet when finding Steve as opposed to what he actually has in the movie. Mm. Bedlam never punches anyone in Deadpool 2. The only punching scene he was in was a bus punching him in the face. Shutterstar also thought he was going to survive longer. Wade and Weasel never had this interaction. They probably won't even make it three. Yeah, why would they? Stop it too. You killed it. Ant-Man and the Wasp <laughs> decided not to deceive us in their trailers. Something trailers are known for is editing out spoilers Venom. and shots. For example, this clip in Venom removed Riot's appearance in the movie. Mm. In Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Miles never visited the graveyard in this suit, nor chased after Prowler in the red and black, or waited for a train. This interaction between Miles and He did and visit the graveyard in a suit, just not his suit. It was like a... that fake suit that Never he got from Stanley's Wait, so shot, that one right there they tried to trick us into thinking these two Peters were the same person by using Jake Johnson's audio instead of Chris Pines. Then I saved the city again and again. Probably to prevent mm. people from thinking he dies. This chip metaphor was removed. This fry is your universe. It's soggy, it's weird, it's gross. And this delicious normal fry is my universe. Captain Marvel never said, I'm not what you think I am. Looks like she was saying it to a young Monica Rambeau. I don't recall this Kree blood transfusion. Possibly Carol getting fooled into thinking she's one of them? Natasha never did any training in Avengers Endgame. She was already skillful enough. X-Men Dark true. Phoenix removed this scene in a church. I wonder who Vuck <laughs> was going to visit and why. I don't think Scott was ever wearing a hoodie, particularly not in the aftermath of some sort of event. 20th Century Fox said, I don't know what to do with this bit, so they removed it. Tell me what to do, I don't know what to do. There seemed to be some kind of incident in the X-Mansion that Charles was wheeling through in the trailer, but not the movie. The suit in Spider-Man Far From Home was changed to Iron I knew I wasn't tripping about this. I remember when I watched it, I was like, why is he wearing this suit instead of the suit that was in the, the trailer? trailer? But not the movie. The suit in Sp Spider-Man Far From Home was changed to Iron Spider in the movie. Peter's to-do list was a movie. The suit in Sp Spider-Man oh, Far From Home dress. was changed to Iron Spider. Okay. Spider in the movie. Sure. Peter's to-do list was edited as a mini-movie and released later, but a lot of the footage can be seen in the first trailer. Nick Fury never says this line. Is he going to be okay like that? Might want to turn him over so he doesn't swallow his tongue. Despite the new yeah, mutants having happen. serious reshoots and the first trailer being released three years before the movie, there weren't that many things missing from the final cut. I don't recall that? any of these horror-esque nightmares being in the movie. How many having serious reshoots? Might want to turn him over so he doesn't swallow his tongue. Despite the new mutants having serious oh, reshoots mutants. and the first trailer being released three years before the movie, there weren't that many things missing from the final cut. But I don't recall any of these horror-esque nightmares being in the movie. The residents of Westview were deceived and so were we into believing that Agatha would be riding a bike in WandaVision. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier and Loki had six episodes each to put all their trailer footage into, and I'm pretty sure they used it all. The Black Widow trailer hinted at more yeah. General Ross involvement. What if the What If Season 1 trailers actually used all the footage in the show? Shang-Chi and the Legend of the No Deception? Venom let there be no footage missing from the trailer to that Carnage movie? The Legend I don't of recall no seeing her attacking like Green Linen in Eternals. What does she have against Sheets? Sprite never did karaoke <laughs> on King Goes Jet. I wonder if her go-to song is the same as Shang Chi's. <laughs> this clip here seemed to be trailer exclusive to let people know the Eternals movie was set in the MCU. So now that Captain Rogers and Iron Man are both gone, who do you think's gonna lead the Avengers? I could lead them. <laughs> 
Hawkeye shot all its trailer footage into the show, or nice. some Arrow-related pun. In Spider-Man No Way Home, no Department of Damage Control officer slammed down a stack of files. I wonder what the paperwork said. Maybe Pete forgot to do his tax returns. Remember when they tried to make us think there was only one Spider-Man in No Way Home? The That's first nuts. Morbius trailer was released two years before the movie, so there was a lot of missing footage from the final cut of the film. This interaction between Morbius and Dr. Emil Nicholas never happened. No strength training during the power testing Morbius. montage. This hallway was not Morbius on in the final edit. No cars drive on grass. Is Spider-Man in this universe? He's at least in this trailer's universe. The very <laughs> Marvel named Simon Stroud had a robotic arm in the trailer, but not in the movie. That could have been interesting. This interaction between Morbius and Tombs never happened. Got tired of doing the whole good guy thing. Huh? What's up, Doc? They first met later. More of that interaction in a different trailer. You and I should stay in touch. Simon never said, You save lives, you don't take them. This bus never got morbified. Martine Bancroft never did any cardio in the movie. So <laughs> there's probably enough unused footage in Thank the trailer to make a sequel out of. I'm pretty sure they used all the footage Shout from Moon Knight, Knight, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Miss Marvel, Thor Love and Thunder, I Am Groot Season 1, She-Hulk Attorney at Law, Werewolf by Night, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, The Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and Guardians of the Galaxy Volleyball 3 trailer footage in their did respective shows volleyball? or movies. Maybe they were worried someone might sue them, like Sub when that person tried to sue the Ryan Gosling movie Drive, for having a misleading trailer. Miguel O'Hara did not fight Miles through multiple universes in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And back to no trailer deception from Secret Invasion, I Am Groot Season 2, Loki Season 2, The Marvels, What If Season they 2. They also changed the movie. They also changed the Spider-Verse movie in theaters. Echo. Like, there's two versions of it in theaters. Web, Deadpool... Loki Season 2, The Marvels, What If Season 2, Echo, Madam Web, Deadpool and Wolverine, Agatha All Along, Ultra Hara did not fight Miles Hold from on. multiple universes in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, and back to no trailer deception from Secret Invasion, I Am Groot Season 2, Loki Season 2, The Marvels, What If Season 2, Echo, Madam Web, No deception from Madam Web? No deception from Madam Web when we got these and we didn't see this till literally the end of the movie. Web, Deadpool and Wolverine, Agatha All Along, or Venom The Last Dance. There are also some minor dialogue changes, I'm good, different camera angles, you, CGI bro? background changes, and shots where something is hidden to avoid spoilers, or the CGI just wasn't finished. But other than that, I think I covered everything. Let me know in the comments which of these Marvel clips you wish made it into the movie. And don't forget- No, there wasn't any deception in the in the trailer, but at the same time, they, they, they showed them in their spider costumes as like a main, uh, a main event. And it happened at the end of the fucking movie. I don't know. Marvel be nah, well. It depends, cause they don't be lying about too many of them, but they be move. They be lying as hell. They be lying like crazy, bro.